Welcome to Echoes of History, where we explore the enigma of monotheism. The belief in one supreme deity, central to Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. But where did it all begin, and how did religions transform this idea? Today, we dive into a fascinating question, did Moses borrow the concept of one god from Pharaoh Amenhot III? And who was Amenhot III? Let's explore this intriguing topic with a professional perspective. B. Who reigned during the 18th dynasty around 1391 to 1353 or 1388 to 1351 BC, was a prominent figure in ancient Egyptian history. His reign, marked by remarkable achievements, includes an intriguing period of religious transformation. During Amenhot III's era, he introduced a significant shift in the Egyptian religious landscape. He notably elevated the god Amun to a supreme status, effectively moving towards a monotheistic belief system. This transition served two primary purposes. Firstly, it curtailed the considerable power held by the priesthood, which had wielded influence through various deities. Secondly, it demonstrated Amenhot III's visionary and innovative approach to governance. Amenhot III's reign saw a period of relative peace and prosperity in Egypt, which was in part attributed to the consolidation of religious beliefs under the banner of Amun. However, with the pharaoh's passing, the traditional polytheistic beliefs and gods began to resurface, as they were deeply ingrained in the Egyptian culture. While the religious revolution initiated by Pharaoh Amenhot III did not lead to the long-term establishment of monotheism in Egypt, it laid a foundation for subsequent developments. The transition to monotheism in the ancient world would take centuries, ultimately evolving into distinct faiths, including the rise of monotheistic religions like Judaism. Amenhot III's reign remains a compelling chapter in the history of religious and cultural transformation. The period that Moses is thought to have lived is in the 13th century BCE, where Ramses II, the third king of the 13th dynasty, ruled in Egypt. As a baby, he was placed in a basket and set adrift in the Nile River to escape Pharaoh's decree to kill all Jewish male infants. He was found and adopted by the daughter of Pharaoh, Ramses II, and raised in the royal court of Egypt. Did Amenhot III influence Moses' creation of the Exodus story? I think yes, if we are going to talk about the historical line, Amenhot III had announced that there was only one god and he was Amun, Moses raised by the daughter of the pharaoh, Ramses II, gave you the opportunity of education and learning the history of the past pharaohs, by gives him the opportunity to create the same story that later gave you the name Exodus with the idea of the escape of the Israelites from Egypt to the Holy Land. Are there archaeological facts that prove the existence of an exodus? According to most Egyptologists, there is absolutely no evidence of Moses and the exodus in Egyptian documents, which leads them to conclude that the entire biblical story is a myth written from people. If we seek the origin of monotheism, credit might indeed belong to Pharaoh Amenhot III who introduced the concept of a single god to consolidate power and counteract priestly influence. Exploring the historical mysteries and the evolution of belief systems is a fascinating journey. If you want to continue uncovering the intriguing stories of our past and the complex tapestry of monotheism's development, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay curious, stay informed, and join us on our quest through history. Thanks for watching.